time what I'd like to show you is a demonstration of what a hacker would do if he had been here uh, present at this conference and to give you the ability of looking at things from a hacker's perspective. One of the most important things for me for you to take from this presentation onward is the understanding that internet, when it was constructed, it was done without any thought of security. Okay. Security, security was, an added, was added as patches, one on top of the other several years later when the, there was an understanding that there is a problem and protection is necessary. Since the internet was built without any security understanding, there are many places that could be used by hackers for their own purposes. Okay. Very smart people are going to come and say, okay, we get this problem, you're going to be the man in the middle, you see all traffic in the midway, let's have a new mechanism, let's call it secured uh, secure communications. So how does it work? In reality, my iPhone said a request, let's assume I'm sending it to a large bank in Israel, it's going to work. Uh, for each and every uh, website, uh, most of the time, what's going to happen is that my device is going to send a request to that website I wish uh, to connect to. And it says, hi, this request arrives at the bank or any other website for that matter, and that website is defined that they want to work in an encrypt manner. They say, hi, let's go, let's switch them to the encrypt uh, communication. The iPhone receives this request and says, fine. And as of that moment, they speak in a crypt version. So what happened? The initial request, the initial interaction between user and website was done in a non-encrypt manner, and I can control this interaction, all right? So what can I do as the man in the middle? I can wait for the user to connect to the website. He says, hello, I can hear that because it, this is not encrypted. I send this message to the website, hello, and then, then I get a reply, hello, let's switch now to encrypt information for communication. I say, fine, you and me are going to go into encrypt communication. Terrific. But facing my user, I keep on talking in a non-encrypt manner, and so I can see most sensitive things that he's doing with the website, despite the fact that the website is working in an encrypted fashion, and the website, as far as the website is concerned, everything is being done in an encrypt fashion. Now I'm searching for hotmail.com. I'm about to click my password. That is a D. I'm just uh, clicking at hotmail it's a bit difficult for me to click this way so please forgive my misspelling my, my uh, password will be one two three four five six seven you can still see that all these movements on the keyboard are in the uh, computer of our attacker you can see he can see all the passwords but i'd like to give you two tips that it would be very important to take home with you. The first one being, if you can, do not serve in the wireless a okay. network if you don't know the other participants, if you have a package of cellular surfing, these are places where hackers find it a little bit more difficult to break. Number two, even more important, is learn how your gadget is when it is in a uh, secure information. Every gadget can do it. There is a lock that appears in a specific point. If you know how your device presented when you surf into a secured communication, you could identify that right now in the attack that I just demonstrated to you, we would not, we were not in secure information. Once you are in a site and you take in any sensitive information like credit card, etc. Always before this, make sure that your gadget shows you that right now you are in a secured communication. I cannot explain.